Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2022 as we continue our journeyman glory hunter run in the Bundesliga with Borussia M. Gladbach. And today is the German Cup semifinal game. Hopefully we can get past a Union at Berlin here. I will also point out that we are out of the Champions League. Uh, we lost to Arsenal. Uh, which kind of makes a lot of sense if you, if you ask me. But uh, let's get into the episode. All right, here we are in game. As you can see, not the best run of form over the last several games. Uh, starting off with a loss to the team we're playing today, Union Berlin. Now, I will say I did some pretty heavy rotation in this game, and we still won statistically. Uh, they just got more goals than we did, but we were ahead on just about every other stat. Um, I don't think that I don't think that is too telling for today's game because we're going to play all of our starters today, and I think we'll play a lot better. Uh, we, we did get a goal from a Dominguez, and that was it. Uh, we went up against SV, SV Verder here, and we beat them 3 to nothing with a goal from Bruckner, a goal from Schmidt, and a goal from Malin. And then we went up against FC Augsburg, and we beat them 3 to 1 with a goal from Gill, a goal from Malin, and a goal from Ilyev. And then there's the first leg against Arsenal, home leg. Uh, we lost to that one 3 to 4. Uh, we did get three goals, though. I mean, Carlos, Ilyev, and Malin putting up some goals. We actually drawn 3 3 at halftime, and then Arsenal just got the win in the 69th minute, and that was it. Uh, which again, not super worried about it, but I mean, I would have been still kind of nice to, to show a little bit better than we did. Uh, we then went up against Eintracht Frankfurt and beat them three to nothing with a own goal from one of their players, a goal from Mullen and a goal from Ilyev. Uh, there's the second leg against Arsenal. Again, this is the away leg. I would expect it to be a little bit tougher. And we only got the pair of goals from Amadi in this game. Not a lot else. Again, not too worried about it. It is what it is. Uh, the FC Bayern game here. Now this is FC Bayern who was number one in the league at the moment. We got beat a little bit worse than I thought we, I, 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 would, I would hope that we would. But I also did some rotation in this game because I knew that the Union Berlin game was more important to me. So I, I rested a bunch of my starters. And there's the result. That, I mean, kind of to be expected, to be perfectly honest. I, honestly, I think we would have lost either way. So there's no use sending our starters out there to potentially get injured or to get fatigued or anything like that. Speaking of injuries, we do unfortunately have at least one critical injury to Lucas here. Uh, he is out for a couple more weeks. Obviously, uh, our main guy that we're targeting with the uh, corner kicks. Although I will say that his backup here in... Uh, where is he up? Is it Borneo? Yeah, Borneo here. He's got a 17 jumper reach and a 16 heading. So he's he's going to do just fine, I think. Yeah, for At least for that particular role. Um, other than that... Oh, we did do one more transfer. We've got uh, a new guy, Adam Greiger, here coming in from Dynamo Kiev. He joins us in July as well. Uh, there's the $30 million up front. Could go up to $60 million over time. And the reason, biggest reason I brought him in is, one, he's a good striker to bring us in for some more depth and, and whatnot. Uh, you know, solid three-star player. Uh, he's actually playing relatively well this season at a 7.3. Now, that, again, this is in Ukraine, but so take that for what you will. But he has played in Germany before. He has played in the Bundesliga before. So he's, it's not like he's completely lost in this league. Uh, and the other reason I brought him in is because he is at a 17 pace. And I wanted somebody who was at least 17 or higher pace uh, to give us a little bit more ability to stretch the field uh, or get behind the defense. And hopefully he comes in here and gives us that opportunity. So there you go. Bringing him in uh, for the beginning of next season. Um, other than that, that's it. Let's get into this game today. Here's the team we're bringing today. Mostly all of our starters, ex again, except for Lucas here. So we've got Georgie in goal, Schmidt on the left, Bruckner on the right, Amadi and Bornau in the middle, Johnny and Dominguez in the midfield with Carlos uh, just a little bit ahead of them, Ilyev on the left striker, Malin on the right striker, Malin, Malin, however I decide to say that, and Alakwa as the false nine. And that is our team. Let's go. By the way, I will be playing... Another game after this, whether we win or lose this game. So that way you can't tell if we win or lose by the length of the episode. So if we lose this game, we'll play RB Leipzig, uh, which would be a fun game to play anyway, because I played with them last season in the German Glory Hunter, and they're one of my favorite teams as well. Uh, probably a little bit behind Newcastle now, but still up there. Uh, but if we win this game, we'll just play this sec the next game in the, in the, the German Cup. So, I mean, we should win this game. 
But obviously, we've already lost to this team. So there you go. Tell you that tell you what you will. Um, yeah, I definitely need to end our bad run of form. We're in a bad run of form, but again, injuries, uh, resting people, things like that. It's it's weighing on us. It's, we we have good starting players. We do not have good depth at all, and that's definitely something we need to fix next season. Hopefully, by bringing in better starters and letting some of these starters kind of get back down to that be uh, quality depth at that point. We'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But that is the plan. That's kind of basically what we did with Newcastle. Started with a one round of decent players and then let them kind of primarily be backups while we run some better players ahead of them. All right, here comes the throw in from Bruckner. Gets it into Barnell. Bruckner with the ball again. Uh, he's going to push it over to Johnny. Johnny gets it all the way up to Schmidt. Schmidt has a couple guys ahead of him. He's at least got one guy ahead of him. There's Ilyev right there. Ilyev does have some people in the middle. Schmidt over to Carlos. Lightning strike by Carlos. Antonio Carlos with just... I mean, we just about had a hole in the back of the net from that one. That was a, a just a bullet. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the goalkeeper fell on his backside. Probably trying to avoid it more than block it. He about got his head knocked off if he had tried to get in the front of that one. All right, corner kick coming in from Ilyev. Here it is. Borneo. Oh, Amadi there. Almost got the score on that one. That would have been incredible. And here comes Union Berlin on the counterattack. Are we going to be able to get back? Yeah, we're good. Gusty, 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So, pretty cool. But Gusty will make it, you know, feel even colder. Uh, could also potentially, I don't know if it's actually simmed in the game, but could also affect the flight of the ball on long passes and long shots. There's Malin with the ball. Uh, just hits right into the knees of the guy in front of him. Uh, Lakawa should be able to chase this one down pretty easily with no issue. Johnny with the ball now. Gets it across to Bruckner. Bruckner's got a several guys in the middle. Over to Dominguez. Dominguez does get it deflected there. Ilyev. Oh. Okay, that's fair. Okay, it's going to be a corner kick though, I think. Come on, guys. Corner kick coming from Ilyev. Nothing going there. Carlos is going to be able to get down this one pretty easily though. Gets it up to Malin. Malin with the ball. Back over to Dominguez. Dominguez back to Malin. Malin to Bruckner. Over to Dominguez. And come on, guys. There's Bruckner again. All the way across to Ilyev. Ilyev back over to Borneo. Sets it back a little bit to Amadi. And I guess that was the highlight. Yay, us. I mean, we're dominating our shots right now. But I would really have liked to have had an extra goal by now. All right. Here comes a shot, or corner, sorry, corner. Free kick from Carlos. Unfortunately, that did not go anywhere. We are much more fit than the other team is right now, so that that hopefully will help us over the course of the length of this game. I say that, and then Schmidt gets injured. Um, how badly? Hampered by injury. Okay, well, I guess Brian Gill gets to come in here. He actually played really well for us in a couple games that we brought him in for, so I think we'll be okay. We're getting a very, very late highlight here. There's Brian right there. Set across. There's Dominguez. Not able to get on that one. Johnny. Or at least not able to direct it towards go. Bruckner with the ball now. Oh, gets tripped up. I don't think this is a penalty, though. I mean, he was on the line, but I think he was just outside. Yep, I didn't think so. Okay. Uh, but we'll get a free kick here. Can we? I guess we didn't do anything with it. So, oh, tiny little blip from Union Berlin there. All right. Don't get complacent. I agree with that. Let's just play this out, guys. Play it strong. Corner kick coming in from Brian. Here it's across. There's Amadi. Oh, good goal from Amadi. Good goal from Amadi. Just realized I think Borneo should be on the left-hand side, but that's okay. If Amadi can score like that, then I'm not I'm not going to change anything. We're okay. All right, throw in from Bruckner. Gets it into Brian. Brian over to Malin. Malin goes for goal, not able to get anything. Johnny tries to pick that up. Gets taken away from him, though. And here comes Union Berlin. Playing pretty well at the moment. Let's see if they can do anything with it here. Come on, guys. 
Keep the defense strong. Oof. Good shot. Uh, a little bit more on target, and that would definitely have been a goal, because our goalkeeper was not getting to that one. Now, come on, guys. Let's keep it up. There's Borneo. Over to Johnny. Johnny! Deep kick up to Brian. Brian's got plenty of guys in the middle. Not able to get it to one of them, though. Uh, Johnny, though, comes up with that one. He's going to get it over to this corner. Here we go. Here's Malin. Malin with his 22nd goal of the season. Looking really, really good today. And we are up 3 to nothing, so we are going to pull back on the trigger press a bit. And just, we'll, we'll be fine. Just don't need to go too crazy here. We want to keep keep fitness where it, wherever we can. Pull back on the intensity as much as we can. Like we're getting another free kick here. With a chance at a shot. Brian Gill. Oh, it. Oh, I thought it went in there. Thought bouncing around, net wiggling. Not quite. Bruckner into Brian. Back to Bruckner. Over to Amadi. Back to Brian. Brian turns around, gets it back to Amadi. What a shot by Amadi. Well done, sir. Well done. His second goal of the game. We are very much in control of this game today. So, so far, so good. Let's keep it up, guys. Come on. And I think at this point, again, in favor of lowering intensity, let's drop the trigger press even more. Yes, that's fun. Brian with the ball here. Up to Malin. He's not going to be able to get, get on it, but there's Bruckner picking that one up. Bruckner all the way across to Ilyev. Ilyev back inside. There's Dominguez. Easy go for Dominguez. I was going to say, he's in a good spot. Just needs to turn around, and he did. He read my thoughts. Great work, guys. Come on. Just keep it up. Yeah, so easy. Such a good spot. All right. Let's do another sub here. Everybody's looking pretty good. Nobody's too tired. Probably bring out one of these midfielders. Bring Dominguez out here. Bring Lubach in. And I'm actually going to... We're actually going to even turn off the counter press. We're really just trying to make sure the guys don't overstress themselves too much here. Um, that's not what I want. I'll turn on a little bit of time wasting. There's Amadi over to Borneo. Back to Amadi. We're still getting highlights even with me changing some of the intensity around quite a bit. There's Malin. Oh, he's going to get past the guys. He's gonna, oh, he's going to get over in the corner. Gets it back to Carlos. Goodness gracious, guys. We are just... We woke up today. We want this cup. I can't... We win the cup. I don't know what to say, guys. That would be incredible. Join this team partway through the season and still win the cup. Uh, yes, please. Then all we got to win is the league. Now, <laughs> then all we got to win is the league. Obviously, easier said than done, but we will see. Um, we'll go full time wasting at this point. Just, just let's just coast this game in here. We don't need to go any crazy. In fact, we'll even go down to positive. I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to risk too much aggression, too much intensity. Got to nurse these guys to the end. Okay, let's get Borneo out, out of here. Davies can come in. We may need Borneo for the next game. Or the next, uh, yeah, the next cup game, because I don't think Lucas will be back by then. Well, dominant performance today, like I said. So that's that's looking good. Now, it really depends on who we were playing in the next game. I think both teams are beatable. 
one team I think will be a little bit easier for us than the other. But if we play like this, it doesn't matter which team we get, to be honest. Now, neither one of those teams is going to play quite as badly as Junior Landis Paley today, but still. All right, there we go, guys. Excellent, excellent work. Definitely proud of the team. Oh, uh, looks like Hertha Berlin is who we're playing. They beat their team 1-0. That was a close game. Very, very close game. Three to five days. Oof, that's rough for Schmidt. Are we going to be able to limp to the finish line here? We've only got to play... There's only one more game that I care about at this point. Well, the other games, we can just play whoever. Uh, it's last game of the season. Of course it is. So I'm going to be playing these next three games. And we'll be back for the final. All right, we are back, and the regular season is over. Here is the results as they played out. Uh, none of them really ultimately mattered because we didn't change position at all. Um, we did go out against RB Leipzig, and I played very heavy rotation. I even rotated all the way down to my under-19s or something like that, you know. So the fact that we came out with a draw is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, we went up against Fortuna Dusseldorf and beat them 4-2-3 with a goal from Lakwa, a goal from Ilya, a goal from Johnny, and a goal from Lubak. Uh, we then went up against Mines, and I actually played more starters in this game. So it was actually a very disappointing loss, considering it was mostly, if not all, of my starters, other than the ones that were injured. We'll get into that in just a second. I only got to go from Malin here, and that was it. Big fat loss. But again, ultimately didn't matter, because those three points would not have gotten us close to Hertha Berlin, who's the team we're playing today. The team that's above us. So they're in the Champions League. We are only in the Euros, which for me personally is really good news for the team. Not so much, so we'll see. It may be hard for us to get some players into the team. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we don't lose anybody. Hopefully we're able to get who we want. Uh, real quick, before I jump into anything else, I will say that I did actually look at um, the uh, the rules for the Champions League. And there were a couple ways that I saw that you can get into the Euro Cup from the Champions League. One is through the... Um, the playoff path, which most of the teams in these top leagues wouldn't go through the playoff path. Uh, you could, if the loser can qualify for the Euro Cup group stage, or if you're in the Champions Cup group stage and you get in third place, you make it to the Euro Cup first knockout round. So there's a couple ways. There might have been another one I missed somewhere in here, but that for sure is at least two ways to get into the Euros from the Champions Cup. Now, obviously that doesn't apply to us now because we're just in the Euros, but I just wanted to point that out because I had mentioned that in the last episode. I was uncertain. A couple other things. Um, Newcastle won the English Premier League. So we set up a good team and we left them in a good place and they ended up winning the whole thing. So it would have been cool to stick around and win again, but we didn't need it, right? We, we just didn't need it. Uh, and they did ultimately, it looks like they ended up beating Chelsea for the FA Cup as well. So they did win the FA Cup trophy um, on top of that, which is pretty exciting. Not bad. So... Leapfrogged uh, FA Cups and Leapfrog uh, Premier Leagues, <laughs> both. You know, the, we obviously won the first one, and then they they won them both again in the second one. That, that's that's pretty impressive, honestly. That's pretty impressive, honestly. They might have even got undone better in the Champions League if we had knocked them out. Whoops. <laughs> um. Anyway, so that is all that. The other thing I needed to show you is that the we're having some injuries, guys. We we're having some injury tremor, uh, trouble. Brook uh, Brookner's out. Very bad timing on that one. We really needed him. Lucas is out. I thought we were going to get him back. And then he got blisters, apparently. So now he's out as well. Um, and then Bornau is coming back from an injury. I mean, it's just, it's just been rough. So if we end up losing this game, then it, I think a lot of it has to come back to some of the injuries on the defense. And that's, that's a very key part of our, our field. I mean, we got to have a strong defense. And to lose two for sure strong defenders and then have our backup for Lucas be also injured uh, and potentially not fit for today's game is not great. But anyway, here's the team we're bringing today. Uh, we have Georgie obviously in goal. Schmidt comes in on the left hand side. Amadi and Davies coming into the midfield. We're actually or into central defender roles. We're actually playing a Loney in central defender because we've run out of other players. So I guess I'm glad I brought him on. Uh, Coyote comes in here on the, on the right hand side. Uh, we then have Johnny and Alubuck's going to take get the nod in the midfield because. Dominguez has not been playing well over the last five games, only on a 6.7. Lubach is at least on a 6.86. We're going to try to give him the nod, see what happens there. Antonio Carlos obviously in the shadow striker role with Ilyev and Malin on the outside. 
uh, advanced forwards, and we're actually going to give Mafi the mod nod as well. 6.9 IA over the last five games compared to uh, Lockwa's 6.66. So Lockwa's been struggling lately. We're going to see if Mafi can come in here and give us a little bit of a lift. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe it's the right move. I don't know. We'll find out. But let's get into this game. I mean, we really need to win this game. This is it, right? This would, this would be such a huge deal. Honestly, if we won this game, I might not completely ignore the, the uh, job market because knocking something off here wouldn't be as hard to leave to go to another country and come back and take care of the, the league at a later date, maybe with a potentially better team. Uh, not that we can't do it with this team. We can. And I, I would be, I do look forward to the, the, the work that it would take. But, you know, there are a couple other teams that would make it just that much easier. So something to think about. But we've got to get past this game first. And this is not going to be easy. All right, a little bit of motivation there. Doing it for the supporters, doing it for the fans. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I think the fact that we're coming into this game with a bit of a struggle. Um, yeah, bookended losses. <laughs> um, not super great. Let's see. Are we capable of winning the, winning this game? Absa, 100% lootly. Absa, 100%. I just made up a word, guys. Uh, absolutely, 100%. Um, but will we is the question right looking pretty strong already up so far here comes a corner kick though for Hertha Berlin and it is going to be an easy goal for them unfortunately and you do not like to see that I think that's where we would miss our defenders in there mixing it up and uh it just is what it is that's my kind of goal right there that's the goal I would score on all day long Come on, guys. All right, here was a Coyote with the ball. It's going to get it all the way across. There's Muffy. There's Schmidt. Not able to get that one in there. Come on, guys. There, right, Davies picks that one up. He's going to push it up. He's going to get it all the way over to Ilyev. Ilyev over to Schmidt. Schmidt's got a chance here. If he doesn't do... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I was expecting him to do something stupid there, and he, he just played it through and just did what he had to do. Excellent play by Schmidt. Gets us back into this game here. I, that was an incredible play by Schmidt. Like, just snuck it in there. Wow. <laughs> Looked like a striker there for a second. All right, throwing coming in for Arthur Berlin. Come on, guys. Am I going to miss the get stuck in instruction? Don't know. We'll see. I may turn it on if they score again. They're looking really good. They're just passing the ball like, like we're not even there. They're looking really good right now. Oh, easy pass there. This could be an easy goal. Easy goal. I do feel like we had a lot of chances there to get a good tackle in. And so I think I am going to turn the instruction back on. I just felt like that there was some stuff there that we just left out there. Hopefully this isn't a mistake. All right, throwing coming in from Schmidt. Gets it into Malin. Malin all the way across. There's Johnny. Oh, what a go by Johnny. No, 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 no. Don't take that away from him. How could you take that away from him? I mean, I can't see where he's at to start the play, but he definitely ended up way behind the player. To end. Oh, he's good. Okay. Whew. All right. Come on, guys. Keep it up. All right. There's Schmidt throwing it in. There's Amadi. Back to Schmidt. Schmidt gets it across. Moffy's not able to get on that one. Coyote, though. Amadi with the ball. Up to Schmidt. Schmidt, come on. Do it again. Ho -ho! He did it again. What in the go is going on here? What is going on here? I mean, what is Schmidt's finishing? Only a five. 
okay. He's, I think I think uh, he's finishing like he's a twenty right now. Goodness, what a curve on that ball! Come on, guys, playing well. We are getting a couple yellow cards though. Do I take this get stuck in back off? I mean, it's obviously helping us. But I also, I mean, uh, uh, any sort of double yellow here would really hurt. Schmidt chasing them, and I thought he was going to get something called there on him there. Uh, bad pass, though. Come on, buddy. Like I said, double yellow is going to hurt us. Oh, my goodness. As I'm talking about it. Oh, my goodness. No, it's not Malin. Who was one of you guys can play back here? I thought. Oh, it's Lacqua. Lacqua can play back there. No, I was not doing this then. Uh, we're gonna undo that. We'll bring Mafi back here, and we'll bring. I cannot believe that happened. As I'm talking, I was literally about to turn it off. Literally about to turn it off, and I just didn't have a chance. I should have turned it off at halftime. Goodness gracious. I'm going to drop down a little bit positive. I don't... I feel like we're playing not to lose now, which I hate. I hate. I hate that. Coyote on a yellow card and getting tired. I think we've got to sub him out early here. Normally I would love to keep you in longer, although I don't think we have any... Oh, we don't have anybody that can come in here for you. We've got to leave you in there. Such a risk. I cannot believe we got that red card right as I'm talking about it. All right, just a yellow card there. Okay, we, we have to take it off now. I mean, it's just... There's pressure, obviously. Calling some calls. Making some calls. Good save, Georgie. Come on, buddy. Don't be stupid here. Okay, I thought that we were about to be stupid and give something up there. Um, I gotta do some sort of sub here. I still got Gil that can come in. Gil's actually really good. Even though I would really hate to bring Schmidt out, we've got to get... I don't need another yellow card in there. I, just, I need to get Coyote out of there, but I just can't. I can't. Not feeling good, guys. That stupid red card. I cannot believe it. It's really bothering me. I don't think he, I don't think he was offside. I mean, we got to play this out. I'm gonna go back up to attacking. Stupid red card. I turned it on for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And it was one minute too long. I'm not going to watch your stupid goal again. There's no way.
I mean, I'm frustrated beyond belief right now. You know what? We're going to turn it back on because what do we got to lose at this point, right? We have nothing to lose at this point. Carlos is just like falling on his face, apparently. <laughs> mm. I, I mean, I'm kind of mad at myself, obviously, because I mean, I should have turned it off at halftime. I, I thought about it. I was like, I'll, I'll leave it on for a couple more minutes. And I, truth be told, I was going to turn it off when we got to the 60 minute mark. I was going to leave it on for the first 15 minutes of the second half. Turn off the 60 minute mark. We'll, we'll finish the rest of the game without it. No big deal. So I'm like, you know, 30 minutes of it on total throughout the game. No big deal, you know, but one minute into second half and we get a red card that, that obviously that was it. I mean, that was, that was what changed the game. I'm frustrated beyond belief. So I'm not going to watch your stupid. No, <laughs> you're not watching your trophy presentation. <laughs> I am so salty. I did, it's not that I lost it. It's how I lost it, right? It's not that we lost it. It's just, it's how we lost it. Pretty disappointed. Pretty, pretty, just. Do we have a way to see? Like we were so dominant. And then as soon as that happened, that's where it happened, like right about here, right? Somewhere in, in this area. And we just, we couldn't do anything else after that. Again, it's not that we did, it's how we did. All right. Well, we got our work cut out for us, guys. And we knew we did. We knew we did. And that's fine. Um, and honestly, this is the fun part. The fun part is is the work and finding players and doing what we can and getting in there and, and taking care of things. And, you know, I don't know. We'll never, I don't think we'll ever have an, as easy of a chime getting through the German Cup as that, though. So... That could be the one that gets away from us because this this loss right here could be the one that gets away from us, right? We may come in through and win the Bundesliga, but this this one right here might be the one that gets away from us. And I don't want to be defeated. It's just you gotta take your chances when you can get them, right? But we are gonna have a better team. I'm gonna develop a better team than that right there, and we just gotta we gotta do it. I guess we gotta do it the right way. We can't do it the easy way. We gotta do it the right way. We almost kind of we kind of almost backed into that one, didn't we? We got to do it the right way, though. So, anyway. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching, though. <laughs> Come back to next time for... See what work we get done. We got some work ahead of us, guys. But I do appreciate it. My God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.